Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition with me, Frank and Don. Let's head back to Alcatla real fast. And on the way, we might even meet an old friend. You have been We've been on this path previously. Yourself. Are you sure you know where you left it? I have no desire to keep traveling about in circles. Hello, Drizzt. Blast it, boy. I may be old, but my memory has not left me head just yet. We would not even have to look for it had Wolfgar not knocked it out of my hand. I did no such thing, Dwarf. But you did me, boy. You were not looking where you were flying about in the battle, and I were too distracted by the trolls to run after it. And then I forgot that you even did it after. Well, of course I'd be trying to help you find it, but all Driss was wondering was... You'd be wondering whether I have a wit left in me head, girl. And I tell you we'll find me hammer soon enough. I'll not leave it for goblins to steal. <laughs> um, be that as it may be... Or be that as it may, Brunor, Drist, we've got company. Maybe they found your pretty little hammer, Brunor. I know of this one, Donald, from the Harpers. A draw of good alignment and heroic reputation. He is deserving of respect. Oh, another drow. I begin to see them everywhere ever since the Underdark. They are so vicious, even boo cowers. What will we do, Donald? One more comment on me hammer, Rumble Belly. You'll be the first it squishes when I get it back. Peace, my friends. There's no need for us to fight over this. Ho there, travelers. I'm Dristo Erden, most recently of the Ten Towns. Are you friend or foe? I'm a friend, Drist. I've heard of you. Well met, then, friend. Tell me, have you perhaps seen a, uh, a pink warhammer in the vicinity during your travels? Blasty, Drist. Me hammer be not pink. We well, have to admit, Brunor, since Serene cast that enchantment on it, it has been glowing a little on the pinkish side. It be red. Red, I tell ye. Call it pink again, halfling. You'll have yourself a one-way ticket to the abyss. I've been there. It was nothing special. Red, then. Might you've seen something like it, stranger. Uh, no, I haven't. Morden's breath. Must be about here somewhere. We'll look for it for... Sorry, we'll look for it a while longer then, Brunor. Have no fear. We're not expected back in the Ten Towns for a fortnight yet. Tell me, though, stranger. Have we met before? I feel as though your face is familiar, but I cannot attach a time or place to it. Should I know you? Now, we met only briefly. I helped you defeat some gnolls near Baldur's Gate. That was you? Glad I am to meet you again, friend. It's good to see others of decent nature travel these roads, especially with all the rumors of danger. If you're in need of assistance, I'll be glad to offer it. If not, I'll wish you will. We shall be on our way back to the far... Far north. Okay, so we can do this. It's, it's some people recommend not having him help you. Uh, let's just read the dialogue. I have a proposal for you, Drist. If you'll wait for a moment. A proposal. I'm very well, stranger. I have no objections to hearing you out. If I can assist you, I will. I am Donald, and I seek to defeat a vampire in Athkatla, too powerful to face alone. Will you help? I had rumors of this creature, but also heard that she and her cohorts were destroyed. Are you claiming that this is untrue, that she yet exists? I was the one who destroyed her guild, but she got away. She's returned now, and is stronger than, even than before. I've had experience with such creatures in the past, and I know well their power. If what you say is true, we cannot allow it to continue to exist. I'll join you in your battle, Donald, although there are things that we must do before that time. Where does this creature reside in Athkala? In the crypts beneath the graveyard district. I think I know the area you speak of. Very well. We'll meet you there when you are ready to venture beneath the surface. Until that time, Donald. An excellent idea, Donald. Adding Drist and his companions to our battle against Bodhi will certainly tip the scales. You show great wisdom. So some... I would have words with you. Okay, now's not really the time, but sure. What are you doing back here? I am glad to see you. I had thought our friendship would... I'm not here for a social call. This is the last time we will see each other peacefully. I've come to speak a warning. Uh, what are you talking about? It's been decided. You are a killer of harpers and a traitor. You've collaborated with, known, with our known enemies. Your execution has been ordered. What? Such a thing has never been done. This is a very special case. You have faced little opposition from the Harpers so far. From here on, 
The attacks will increase in severity, unless you come with me now. What do you mean? This is an internal matter of justice and does not involve this Donald. You can spare him the attacks if you submit. And what sort of deal is this? The only sort she will get. Think on it, Jahira. You receive the hearing you wish. Uh, very well, Dermon. I will think on this. You do that, Jahira. There will be no other warnings. I forgot... How do I trigger that? Alright. Then I guess we have to do that as well. Let's go back to Joaquin's Promenade first, though. Yeah, yeah. So I have things to do. Yeah, some people recommend not bringing Drist along to fight Bodhi, because he can kill everything in there by himself. Hello, Kruin. Aha! Is the wielder, the thief, and the defiler. All in one being. Strange. I thought there would be three. You there. Have you no twin brothers? Are you talking to me? A question with a question. I see his mind is far deeper than expected. Layers and layers of duplicity and deceit. I must be subtle with this one. Perhaps I should start again before he gets suspicious. Hmm. Yes, I think this would be best. Ahem. You there, human man. My freedom from limbo has a price. I must track down the thief of one of our most holy of holies. You know, I heard you the first time. You did? Really? You know, being a wild mage isn't all it's cracked up to be. My mentor always said, See the spoon, see the spoon. But I only saw frogs. So now, or so now, I've been very patient because you are a lesser being. I'm trying not to overwhelm you with my psionics just by accident. See how nice I am? So hand over the silver sword blade, and we'll all be happy. Well, maybe you won't be happy, but you won't be dead. That's got to be better, right? So you're going to hand over the sacred blade or not? No, I will not. It is mine now. I did say I was a wild mage, right? If I end up having to cast a spell here, I won't be held responsible for it. So hand over the blade, or do I start casting? Do your worst. Yeesh, I wouldn't say that. My worst can be pretty bad. Anti-Paladin. What is going on with him? What is he taking? Doom and Acid. We have a heal up. We do not. You point. I punch. I have had to drop what you gave me. I have only two arms and no more space. Okay, well let's grab these real fast. You drink one of those. Keep yourself nice and healthy for a minute. You shall suffer my That was a big hit on my main character. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Yeah! Oh boy. Okay. That's some Elven Holy Water. Let's tuck that away for now. I forgot to read about the Gorgon Plate, didn't I? Take care of that in a minute. I need some adamantine dust. This was the uh, the cloak that we got off of uh, Solophene.
was what you I thought. Asked for it. Yeah, I'll do it. Huh? Feel the backhand of justice! Alright. Are we still alive? You shall suffer my wrath and provide There we go. If you wish. That didn't go extraordinarily well. In my defense, I'd forgotten about that fight altogether. It is done. Uh, well, we I think it's random where it appears. It may not even be you in Joaquin's promenade. And I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Actually, it might be in the first place that you visit in Athkatla, where that guy will appear and attack you if you don't hand over the sword. And I was not interested in handing over the sword, so. Sorry, but I couldn't hold that last item. It's on the ground. Sir, you look like a master. Sorry, but I couldn't hold that last item. It's on the ground. All right, here. All right. Let's go in here, see if we can buy ourselves another fancy ring. What do you want? Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Here we go, new dialogue. All right then, you're a good customer and a successful adventurer. Would you rather see my secret stock of items? For only 50 gold, I'll show you the wares. Ah, uh, sure. Show me your special wares. Take a look at some of these items. You won't be disappointed. Alright, so he now has an upgraded inventory, starting with the Helm of Brilliance. This helm is made of polished steel and set with diamonds, rubies, and fire opals. The gems glow with an internal light, the source of which can only be magical. The helm makes the wearer resistant to fire, as well as giving the wearer some, some spell abilities. These include Fireball, Prismatic Spray, and Sunray. Fire resist 40%. Pretty good. Crimson Chain plus 5. The dark red metal used to make this chain is said to come from a hidden mine in the Cloud Peaks. At one time, the Bloodway, a band of evil adventurers, all wore armor of this kind, but the other suits have long been lost. Not bad. Uh, what else does he have? Heartseeker plus 3. Yeah, I think this is new. A legend say that craftsman Pino Refn fashioned this bow from the heart of a treant, though how he came to possess such material is unknown. He certainly did not anticipate the enchantment within, magic that makes the archer's aim almost infallible for a short period every day. Pen claimed his skill was responsible, but it was more likely that some aspect of the soul of the treant is still within the wood. This bow requires a strength of 18 to use. And what else... Is that it? Black Blade of Disaster. And where is the ring at? He should have a ring of regeneration. You know what? I'm willing to bet you have to. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. The Tarachi's plate plus five. In his aging years, Baron Tarachi coveted the wife of the lowly foot soldier, Libol. Instead of openly pursuing her and causing a scandal, he instead created this suit of armor. He gifted it to the soldier. This armor's curse sickened Libel and hideously disfigured him, and his wife fled from him in disgust. Libel, that's probably Libel. Libel, trapped in the armor but not certain of Tarachi's treachery, asked to be sent to the Wastes for a dangerous tour of duty against marauding ogres. He never returned, and Baron Tarachi was free to pursue Libel's widow. This armor is cursed and requires powerful magic to remove. You lose constitution and charisma. Yeah, I don't know why you would buy that. Uh -huh. Alright, so... 
I think I know what I need to do. Okay. There it is. Okay. If you wish. So I thought I thought he sold it with his upgraded inventory. You have to. So what if you can pickpocket that from him in the beginning of the game then? Hmm. Do I have to pay for that each time? Well, this will be the last time I pay for it. All right, let's read about some of this other stuff. I don't think, let's see, I read about that. All right, Gorgon Plate plus four. Hunting Gorgons is a highly dangerous drow sport. Often, after a successful hunt, the blood of the Gorgon is taken and used in the creation of a new suit of plate. The special type of drow plate is actually able to withstand the light of the surface world. Fire and acid resist. So I don't gain anything from putting this on. I have had to drop what you gave me. I have only two arms and no more space. Did I read about this? Yes. I read about that as well. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything, uh, any other new stuff here. Ring of Regeneration. So now we have three rings of regeneration if you include... Uh, Ring of Gax. Night, Water's Edge plus three. The blade of this weapon seems to shimmer, revealing a fluid razor edge. Surely there was great skill involved in its construction, as well as a blessing or two from some well-meaning eye above, even though the hilt is comparatively almost clum clumsily adorned. So there you go. It's just a nice scimitar. I don't think it has any special effects. Who would that be good on? Nobody. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna go back to these slums and sell this. Yeah, yeah. Sell this stuff. Actually, the Gorgon plate. What does he have on? Oh, Armor of the Heart. Sorry, Doom Plate. Yes. Hmm. Actually, I can hold it to the Doom Plate. Because I thought I was holding on to Armor for... I can carry no more. <sighs> Your item is on the ground. Inventory's going to load out of control. It's fine. Let's see. Zero and zero. Minus four slashing, minus three piercing and missile. Just minus three slashing. So is this actually better? It is, oh, it requires higher strength, but it is better. It oh, is done. Okay, well, sorry, Doom Plate. Guess you're getting sold. As I thought. All right, we'll go to the slums real fast, do some selling. Then we need to go to the docks. We have two things to take care of at the docks. First, we need to go visit Cromwell, have some weapons crafted. Ah, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! And then we can uh, do Jahira's mission, or quest. Flight mission is better for sci-fi games. Quest is better for fantasy games. You must gather your party before venturing forth. This is how I typically like to categorize them. Alright, let us sell some stuff. I sell everything to him without feeling bad about it. Go 
Did I read about the bone blade? Yes, I did. We won't need the Twigin bow going forward, or Twigin bow. We'll need Water's Edge either. We'll be using Impaler either. Alright. If I miss any dialogue for any unique weapons, because I kind of lost track of them there, uh, just let me know and I'll go back and read them in a future episode. What do you want? So I don't like missing flavor text. Alright, to the docks. First we go to Cromwell's house, and then we'll, uh... Let's see what the Harpers want with Jahira. And then we're going to go to the Umar Hills, because that's where uh, my next companion awaits. Cromwell? Yeah. I come right to you, friend. Uh, me, friend. Gonna see you back in a forge, it is. Be there something that you need? Uh, do I have anything you could forge into an item? Hmm. I couldn't say rightly. Let me have a look at your goods, then. A minute of rummaging, and I'll know for sure. Aye? Eh. You part of some sword here, is it? Let me see. Hmm. I see. You've hilt and a blade here for a long sword, and a pommel gem with much of its power. I could forge it all into one mighty sword for you. It would be involved in that. Two things, me friend. It'll cost you 7,500 gold for the work, no less. And without an apprentice, you have to stay here for a full day and help me run the forge. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I'll be going now. Another time then, me friend. Karma wishes ye a fair journey. We're going to do this after, because I think Jahira's quest might be timed. Yes. Hmm. So let's actually go do that first, and then we can do these quests. Or sorry, get the uh, get the weapons. I should be able to get four while I'm here. Because that first one he was talking about was the equalizer. I should have everything I need for the silver blade, the wave, and uh, Gesson's bow. As I thought. Wait, I thought this is, we had to come back here. Simple. Alright, well in that case I don't remember how to trigger her uh if you wish her quest. Oh, she's gonna think on it. That's right, I think I have to rest. I think we have to rest outside of Out with it. Uh, the city. There might still be a time limit on it. Hopefully I have a couple days to think. Or maybe she'll trigger once I do the first weapon. If you wish. Let me try resting at an inn real fast, see if she leaves from an inn. I think it has to be outside the city, but I could be mistaken. So I'm gonna save before I rest and then reload so I don't waste that day for her quest. Yeah, all right. If you wish. She wasn't interested in talking there. I just don't want to risk messing up her quest. 
Can't be too careful. that uh what would be involved in that we've already said that oh, that sounds fine let's do it as you wish for such a commission we can start on it right away no sense of wasting time then It'd be best if we just get to it so give us the equalizer then three more weapons so we're gonna waste four days four straight days of forging I imagine that'd be extremely exhausting. Well, there you go, my friend. Use it well. And if he comes across anything else of interest, he knows where to bring it, I. Eh? Alright, so the equalizer. Uh, we'll just read all for him at the end. Quick save, there we go. Hmm, what's this then? Part of a bow? Looks like Gessen's work. Hmm, aye, tis Gessen's work indeed. A string and a shaft both. I could remake one of the great bowyer's short bows for ye. Tis a truly powerful weapon. And what's involved in that? Alright, it's the same exact dialogue each time, so I'm not going to read that again. Oh, that sounds fine. Let's do it. And we've also already read that. Mm, mm. Tastes like chicken. What tastes like chicken, the liqueur? What are you over there eating? I feel bad for my companions who have to stand there and watch this for four days straight. Oh, I forgot to buy that helmet from uh, Ribbold. The Helmet Brilliance is a really good helmet. Especially with Sunray, since we're going to be fighting vampires here shortly. Well, not shortly. We have a lot of other stuff to do before we fight vampires. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. I. I know. This looks interesting. Hmm. Do the shaft and blade of a halberd. Power of water and its elemental magic. Most interesting. If you like, I could try to reforge it for you. What would be involved in that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's do it. Hey, what's this? Get craftsmanship. Have seen this in over a century. Aye, you've held the blade of a Vorpal Silver Sword. If you're willing to risk the wrath of the Gith, I'm willing to put it back together for you. We'll be involved in that. Well, that sounds fun, let's do it. This should be the last of the craftable weapons so far. Uh, there's another one we haven't gotten yet. But I'm missing like three or four parts of it, so. So that'll happen in due course. I don't think that he has. Yep. Nothing else to craft. So the equalizer, immunity to charm and confusion, strikes as a plus three weapon. Such is the age of this sword that its true origin has been lost to time. The markings hint that it was possibly forged in the service of Helm. Also called the, called the Sword of Neutrality, it seems designed to seek and terminate extremes, to shift the universe closer to harmonious equilibrium. 
The further the behavior of a target from true balance, the more potent the damage they suffer. It is a longsword. It's not a bad weapon. And I think it's a good replacement for Namara. I also think it looks really cool when it's a uh, sprite. All right, short bow of Gessen. The finest bow gr uh, crafted by Gessen Khan. This weapon draws energy from another plane, firing spears of lightning instead of arrows, and therefore never requiring ammunition of any kind. It is said that Gessen prepared to retire from his craft after selling the invaluable weapon, only to have the bow wrested from his grasp by a thief who used it to end Gessen's own life. A side effect of the bow's of the bow bestows protection from electricity upon the user. So when no arrows are equipped, the bow fires missiles that are treated as plus four for the purposes of determining what enemies they can damage. The missiles receive plus four to hit, including the bonus listed below, and deal a total of two piercing and one to eight electrical damage. We're going to hold on to that for another character. And the silver sword. This vorpal silver sword radiates a dark aura uh, when you examine it. And the blade is so finely sharpened, it could likely sever a head in a single blow. It's a 25% chance per hit that targets must save versus death at minus 2 or die. Again, most enemies going forward aren't ever going to be affected by that, but there are ways to debuff enemies so that this will kill them outright. Um, I'm probably just going to sell it. Though it's probably better than Flame of the North. So you know what? With all the trouble we went through to acquire it, and all the gift we had to fight. It is done. As I thought. All right, let's go talk to Ribald again. Yes. If I talk to, I mean, buy the Helm of Brilliance. I think I'm gonna give that to Animan. So what does he have equipped? I don't know. That's pretty good. What do you have? Yeah, I think I'll give her that instead. Helmet Brilliance is really good. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. Does he get armor class off of his resistances? I don't think so. Actually, you know what? I might not buy the hell. Well. So I will be taking the Ion Stone that Mensk has equipped and giving it to my main character once I get my two-handed sword. That is down the line a little ways. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually going to buy... I, mean, I really like it as a helmet because, again, another casting of Sun Rays is just super useful. If oh wait, did I not read about the wave? I did not. My bad. A fortune antiquity by a cult devoted to the goddess Umberly. This weapon of vengeance was designed to aid the cult's champion, retrieving a holy artifact from the fire giants of the Stormhorn Mountains. That was a lot of hope to place in one champion, and unfortunately, the wave has been lost ever since. So combat abilities, 15% chance of draining the victim of water, plus 15 cold damage, and slays fire elementals, Efreet, and salamanders. So that weapon has a an effect kind of like, uh, I guess, disintegrate or killing a petrified individual and in that if that effect triggers, they shatter. So their inventory is also lost. So you can't loot their bodies after. But again, another example of just a fantastic halberd in the game, though. Between this one, Dragon's Breath, and uh, is it Dragon's Bane? The one that I currently have in my bag of holding. If you wish. It's just really good. Ribald Bartman at your service. Let's actually exit. What does she have equipped again? Armor class and charisma.
Actually, you know what's probably worth swapping this out now. Let's just go and do that. Let's swap these out. There we go. So I get more bang for my buck from that. What? And then Marks, the finest shopping in all of Favru. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just okay. the goods, fair and plain. That is this gonna be better for anybody? Like I can't really use that anyway, so nope. Sorry, I just smashed my mouse with my hand. Yeah, fire resist plus forty is really good. I guess it'd be best yes. to swap on her. Crap, where to go? It is. And it looks—it is one of the cooler looking helmets in the game. All right, I'm gonna get back to the slums real quick, sell some of the weapons that I crafted just now, and hmm. call it an episode. In the next one, we'll head to the Umar Hills and recruit our next companion. Well, we we'll have to do some questing first, but they'll put us on track to recruit our next companion. Let's see what is. Honestly, looking at the stats for this, this still might be better to have on my main character. Cause extra, I mean, I don't really care for the armor class, but uh, hmm. that's fine. Though minus eight, so I, we had the same armor class as Animan does. It is done. All right, to the slums, do some selling. No, please do this. Thank you. Cities always yes. tea with evil and decay. Let's give it a good shake and see what falls out. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Simple. Hi, right, Bernard. Oops. You can have the wave and Amara plus two. And that's it. What? If you wish. You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right, I'm gonna call it here. In the next episode, we will head to the Umar Hills, which is, I think, the most Eastern location, right? Let's take a peek. No, Windspear Hill. Windspear Hills is the furthest location. Okay, we're gonna go there next. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.